Hey everyone, welcome back to Sabina's cooking show. Haven't done one of these in a while, like a proper whole setup cooking show type of thing. Sure. If you saw my video last year, my mom and I made Matilda Jerf's summer cake. Sup? Well, inspired by her summer cake, like the whole strawberry cream cake, Swedish type of thing. Because when I was little, every year we would watch Pippi Longstocking in the summer, and we would eat strawberry cream cake and watch Pippi. Freckles on her nose, you little be by the side. It's Pippi Longstocking, hey oh, 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 oh. It's Pippi Longstocking, there's no one like her. Can I just say that when we watched Gilmore Girls for the first time last year and we saw this clip, we were absolutely shocked and couldn't stop laughing because this is one of our traditions and like not many people know about Pippi. So when we saw this, it was so funny. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so last year I decided to make one of strawberry cream cake and this year we're gonna be making the actual recipe that Matilda used in the video which is a roll cake rather than a layer cake. I had to convert everything from deciliters to cups. So we'll see how this goes because deciliters is weight and cups are volume. Volume. So volume. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start. So I have everything measured out and I wrote everything on this little sticky note. So we will see. We need three eggs. What do you need me to do? I guess you can beat everything once we do it, right? Okay. <laughs> do you need me? Do you even need me? Well, yeah, for comedic relief. Oh God, okay. Well, that's not the like, proper term that I was looking for, but some kind of- I know what you mean. You know, yeah. to bounce, bounce all Okay, the yeah. Where's your thing? It's over there. Over where? Over here. Oh. Where are we gonna plug it in? Plug it in the reach, is it? You stand there and do it. I mean, you can move the bowl over, or you can just stand there. All right. One comma five deciliter sugar, which is a little over half a cup of sugar. Also, this. <laughs> oh God. And then one teaspoon vanilla. They use like vanilla sugar. I don't know what that is, but we have vanilla. Or I they say that we have vanilla paste. I used to hate the smell of vanilla when I was little. And I remember you always loved it. I love vanilla. I was like, it Beat that well, super well. Okay. To make it Are you putting- familiar. 20th birthday? Really? Yeah. So it says a half a deciliter almond milk, but that is like less, it's like 0.2 of a cup, which is 0.2 of a cup is then three tablespoons. So you don't need a cup, okay. Wow, it seems small. I know. It's sticky. I was thinking 
thinking that before. Why is it sticky? Ew. ew, that's really sticky. Isn't that weird? Did you say ew? Well, it's so sticky. I don't know. This always never seems to go. I mean, I mean, no, I'm sure it tastes good. I'm just, you know, I didn't, I never thought like a cake was sticky. I looked online of other recipes just to compare it to yeah. like what I had from the conversions for other rolled like cakes. Right. A lot of them said four eggs, but thank God it was only three because we're out of eggs. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh no. <gasps> I made eggs this morning. Two eggs. I, for, I, did, I, I thought we had more eggs. Mm, it smells really yummy. So we're gonna then pour it onto the baking sheet and make like a rectangle. I was gonna say, is this gonna be big enough for this size? But I guess we'll see. We'll just yeah. spread it out. Because yeah. it doesn't, it didn't, in the video, it didn't touch, touch the, the edges. Yeah. Okay. Mm, it does smell good. Yeah. Mm. However, it's good. good. Oh, yum. That looks really small. I know, it does. Oh, gosh. Oh my god, that's really yummy. She didn't leave any for me. Oh. Sorry. How long does it go in the oven for? Didn't say. Oh. I wanted it, like, really wanted a light color, though. Oh, it's really yummy. Now I want, like, cake cake. That, yeah, this is cake cake. <laughs> that thing's not gonna last long. Yeah, especially with you eating half of the batter. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna put this in the oven for who knows how long. But we'll just keep watching it. I mean, what temperature? Don't know that either. But Are everything you serious? is yeah. But everything is 350. So uh, cake is out of the oven, and the next step is to spread sugar on like parchment paper, like a thin layer of sugar. So I guess like the outside is coated. I'm gonna spread sugar on the baking sheet. have to flip it onto it while it's hot because that makes sense of how it sticks to it. Gonna mash bigger pieces. What? So how long do you think we baked it in total? I don't know. It was, it was like I did eight, I then I did eight, which is like sixteen, then I did like five, which is twenty-one. That's much longer than I thought 26. that thin layer would yeah. take. Maybe like thirty minutes total. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, okay. That was easy. I and think this is gonna fall apart because it should needs it should we shouldn't have baked it as long. Really? Yeah. It, it feels stiff. Just feels stiff. It doesn't feel pliable. Yeah, but now we have to roll it. Oh yeah, and like they had like the whole thing of like peeling this off. Yeah. Oh. That was not an issue for us. <laughs> that was way too easy. Yeah, that's because. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe we let it cool too long. I guess. So now we roll it with a clean tea towel, so it can cool in the shape. Did it break? No. no. Not yet. It's breaking though. Is it? I think so. Oh, it, it broke. Yeah. It's not rolling, it's getting yeah. like square edges kind of, or yeah. I see it breaking, yeah. It broke there. Oh well. That's it for All this right. video. <laughs> that was a fail because we messed it up as always. Because she kept telling me it was going to taste like rolled dough. Well. I rather it taste. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that it would taste good instead of being. I like raw dough. Obviously, you like raw dough too. <laughs> no, we but can make layers oh. like a long. Well, yeah, like you could cut it up and just put it in little dessert cups. This wine glasses, we could like yeah. chop. Like a Napoleon type of thing. Yeah, kind of. Sure. So we are going to make a whipped cream frosting because. It's just easier. Wow, I feel like the camera's so far. Oh right, she did a cream cheese. She did a cream cheese frosting, but we're doing a whipped cream frosting. Yeah, I don't like, I mean, cream cheese is okay. So I nice. like it with like carrot cake. That's, yeah, zucchini cake, carrot cake. Um, do you want an apron or anything? Cause it does splatter. That's true. I suppose. <laughs> oh, my face, my eyebrows. I'm ready. <laughs> 
Hand me the... I don't know what. Oh, I have to plug it in. Hold on, hold on, watch out. Got it? Here. Got I'm supposed to put it in my hand. Ow! <laughs> no, my hand is facing. The whipped cream is done. I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. <laughs> now I have to assemble it. We'll see how this is when I uh, unroll it now. Oh, it's in. 10 different pieces. Oh, yeah, you could layer it. Like a Napoleon. Yeah. Sad. Now it's a Napoleon. <laughs> From Swedish to French. <laughs> All right, change of plans. Napoleon time. Okay. <laughs> Prefiero 